In this tutorial, we'll take on the role of a workbook author and learn how to use a relative time filter in Oracle Fusion Data Intelligence, or FDI. Relative time filters are dashboard filters that deliver high-level insights without requiring manual date adjustments, ensuring dashboards remain scalable and relevant as new data is added. For this example, I want to develop an auto-updating dynamic dashboard to track the number of hires per quarter. This dashboard will monitor hiring activity, identify trends, and detect significant fluctuations over time. I'll begin in a workbook with the HCM Workforce Core subject area. On the workbook canvas, I have a bar chart to visualize the hire's key metric by quarter. The bar chart provides a clear snapshot of fluctuations in hiring patterns, but I'll add a relative time filter to enable scalability and allow business users to dynamically adjust the time range. On the data pane, I'll click the visualization icon. I'll scroll down to select, then drag the dashboard filters to the top of the canvas. I'll resize the dashboard filter area to make it smaller, and then click the data icon. I'll add the date column, which is a date column data type. The relative time filter type supports only date and date time column types. The default date filter is full range, so I'll click the date control and select relative time. Relative time filters are used to filter data that fall into a specified increment of time relative to today or the end of last period. For example, I can focus on the last three quarters, the next three quarters, or the quarters to date through the last fiscal period. I'll keep this as last to filter data for past periods relative to the current date. For increment, I'll enter 12 as an explicit number of time units. Then I'll choose quarters as the granularity of the time. I have options from years to days. I can drill down into a date time column or timestamp on a granular level to minutes or seconds, should I need alternative measurements. Finally, I'll set a relative to option. When I leave this as today, I notice that an incomplete time frame is included. So I'll click the date filter control again. I'll select the relative to end of last period option to exclude the current partial period. Now my data reflects only complete time frames. Now workbook consumers can easily identify significant hiring fluctuations, prompting investigation into causes like organizational changes. Find additional videos and more information on using Fusion Data Intelligence in the links below.